Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am first going in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation with this Japanesque sponge. This uh, sponge is pretty good. It does soak up a lot of product though, so I'm still testing it out. Next I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as well as the Smashbox Camera Ready Eyes Concealer. I am mixing the two because I have fake tanner on so I want the Smashbox one to blend in and make it a little bit darker and I'm also using the Smashbox one on any blemishes that I have on my face to blend in with the foundation instead of highlighting that area. Then I'm just blending that all in with the Japanesque sponge. Next I'm setting all of that with the RCMA No Color Powder. This will help to prevent creasing and to keep my concealer in place all day. I'm also bringing this onto the eyelids as an eyeshadow base. And I just like to dust this over the face lightly. I don't really like to bake because I do have dry skin so that seems to emphasize the dryness. Next I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm taking this down the neck and bronzing up the face as well within the contours of the cheekbones and on the temples of the forehead. And please excuse my hands in this video, they are very orange. I hadn't washed off the fake tanner yet and I kind of forgot about it. It overdeveloped, it was a hot mess. So my apologies, it doesn't normally look like this. Then I'm taking a clean Duo Fiber Real Techniques brush and I'm just blending that bronzer out on my face. Then I go in with Hoola Bronzer to contour slightly in the cheekbones and to bring it down below my chin and jawline. Then just to sharpen the contour a little bit, I'm taking some of that RCMA No Color Powder and I am doing a very light bake underneath the contour of my cheekbone and this will help to brighten that area up again. Going in with the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and I'm placing that on my cheekbones and any other area that you would want to highlight. And I decided that that wasn't enough highlighter, so I went back in with the Jouer Citrine highlighter, and I just placed it on the high points of my cheekbones, on the cupid's bow, above my lip, and a little bit on my nose. Next, going in with MAC Melba, and just blending that highlight into the contour with my blush color. Then I did my brows off camera with the Goof Proof Pencil. Now for the eyeshadow, going in with the Ciate London Pretty Fun and Fearless Chloe Morello palette. And I'm using that first lightest shade just to lay down a transition color and blending that into the crease. Next I go in with a slightly darker shade in the same area with a smaller brush and kind of focusing this more on the outer corner and into the crease. Blending that out with a clean brush next. Then I go in with Queen B, and I place that dark chocolatey brown in the outer V and blend it on over towards the inner corner. I like to keep this dark color very low though. Then as always I go back in with a clean blending brush and blend all those colors together. Next I go in with the Stila Magnificent Metals um, Liquid Eyeshadow and I place that on the lowest part of the mobile lid and I work my way up and this does dry pretty quickly so you have to work efficiently with it and place it exactly where you want it because it is difficult to blend out so I'm just bringing this up to the crease but not exceeding the crease Music 
Then I go in with a clean Makeup Geek pencil brush and I just slightly blend that eyeshadow out. And then I go back in with a very, very thin layer of this liquid eyeshadow. If you layer this product too much, it does start to flake off onto your cheeks and creates fallout. So be sure to use it sparingly. Next I go in with this shimmery taupey shade called Happy. And I place that in the crease just to blend that color into the crease a little bit more. I decided I wanted to darken the crease a little bit and create a little bit more depth and dimension, so I went in with a pure matte black. This is Corrupt by Makeup Geek. It is the blackest black eyeshadow that you can find on the market, in my opinion. And I'm just placing that on the outer corner and dusting off the fallout. Then I go in with On Fire and I am placing that with a pencil brush along the lower lash line and blending that out. And then I smoke out the lower lash line as well with a clean pencil brush. I'm going back in with a flat definer brush and using this chocolatey shade Queen Bee and I am placing this as close as I can get it to the lower lash line just to define that lash line a little bit more. And then I go in with My Tribe. It is a matte cream shade and I place that on the brow bone just below my brows to highlight that area and blend it out. Next I'm going in with the Jouer Ice Powder Highlighter in the inner corner just to highlight that area. And then I go in and curl my lashes and put some mascara on. I like to use the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Mascara. This is in the shade Black is Black I believe. And I like to use this MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Liner on the bottom. Then I applied the House of Lashes Iconic Lights off camera. And we're all done. This is the completed look. Hope you enjoyed.